Hi, Dan. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Good. A um, little chilly today. <laughs> uh, same here. Yeah, you're up in Canada right now, right? At the moment, I am, yes. Or I should say, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the language you speak. Uh, my best friend's in Canada, so she's born and raised there. <laughs> so oh, I. Awesome. I get to hear that. I'm on the other side of Windsor, so, and she's on the other side of Windsor. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm in Detroit, yeah, and wow. she's she's in Cottom, which is on just slightly on the other side of Windsor. Oh, in Chatham? Um, not in Chatham, but close. It's in Cottom. Oh. It's a small oh, town. Okay. You may not have heard of it. <laughs> I'm going to be in Chatham in a week. Awesome. With your Christmas yeah. tour. <laughs> That's right. Well, we have uh, stations. All, we have a station in Chatham for UCB Canada. So, oh, yeah. Yep. So you will have plenty of UCB family coming out there. Um, right. So I'm excited to talk to you because I, I was looking back to see if we had ever talked before, but it doesn't look like we have. Um, so I'm excited to talk to you for the first time. I, I didn't think I had talked to you, but, um, you never know. I, I do several interviews, you know, per year and it gets lost in the jumble sometimes. <laughs> but so, well, first of all, you're doing a jingle all the way tour, um, which yeah. man, you are busy like November 26th through the 21st of December. So you just packing it in, right? I know. What did I get myself into? <laughs> um, Christmas music, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, it's been good. yeah, we have a good sense of humor on this side of the border. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm from Texas, so I'm not even from Michigan, so I can't claim it. Um, <laughs> Well, I'm I'm tell you one thing I'm really excited to talk to you about is you have put out the coolest lyric video ever. This going oh, which to one? going together. Oh, thank you. That is so unique with the Instagram. I mean, follow it's like this little timeline of your love story so far and your family. It's just oh, it's so cute. And you have a thank beautiful you. family. Um I'm sure you're going to have a lot of uh, presents this year with little ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're just figuring that out now. What are we going to get them? The little rascals. Well, thankfully, it's that age where they don't care so much. It can be from the dollar store or, right. you know. <laughs> My kids, my kids are 20, 22, and 23, so it's more all about the coin. It's, you know, electronics, it's gift cards. Right. <laughs> the, dollar store doesn't work anymore. Yeah, the presents get smaller, as in a check <laughs> or, you know, a gift card, but then the, they're more expensive, you know. They're not as easily pleased, but yeah. I don't have 10,000 things of chunky toys all over my living room now. <laughs> Um, so you're going to be on Winter Jam, so are you excited for this? Oh, I'm very excited. I, um, still doesn't feel real, but it is. Uh, I was on the West Coast run, and it was a blast. And, um, you know, this tour is going to finish. I'll have a week or so at home, and then it's off to Winter Jam, which will be stopping in Grand Rapids, I'm assuming. Yep, you'll be in Grand Rapids and Detroit, actually. Um, you'll be here in January and February. And, and the cool thing about the Detroit date, you'll be at the brand new little Caesars arena. And oh, th cool. that is, it's overkill times 10, <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's where the Red Wings play. So, you know, oh, cool. you, you got to go all out, <laughs> but it, nice. it's Grand Rapids has one of my favorite coffee shops. So I'm excited to get back there. Well, you, that's that's like saying you like the ice in Canada. Like, there's so, like, Grand Rapids has, like, 12 Christian colleges, not to mention the other colleges, like yeah. Grand Valley State. So there's a lot of coffee houses there. <laughs> nice, yeah. That's the only way to stay awake when you're in college. <laughs> or when you're a parent. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so what is it? What is um, the reaction? I mean, I'm telling you, I'm in love with this video. I love this. I love this going together. I love just the, I love that you're saying you don't care where you're going, but we're no, we're going together kind of thing. Like what did you come up with this idea or do you get the credit for that? As far as how you told that? Well, the, the, the song really is, um, it's about the, you know, the journey yeah. that we've had so far. And, and, um, like when I started doing music years ago, I had no idea that it would be so like all over the place. <laughs> and also, you know, there's just no way I could do it without my wife. Um, so the story, the story kind of came together. Me and my manager just talked about, hey, what's a creative way that we can tell this story that that feels real? And um, and we're just like, well, it's all documented online, <laughs> so it's already there. Um, so we we just hired a guy that that was good with uh, putting things together. And we're like, can you do this? And he was like, I love this. And we're like, that looks great. It's, it's so, it's so great because, you know, if you keep doing these, then you don't even have to keep baby books. You can <laughs> yeah, that's right. just, that's you just right. need a really big external hard drive and you're set. Just get <laughs> that I would, I, I wish I would have had this when my kids are growing up, had the technology. I mean, I had, you know, cameras, but you know, the ability to take incredible footage on your phone or any of that, you know, capture those moments. I mean, it you know instead of grabbing that big clunky VHS video recorder you know uh, you can yeah. you can literally just pick up your phone and get incredible quality. Uh, your kids are so cute. Your little boy looks like a little mini me. Do people tell you that? <laughs> Poor guy. He no, he really does. Poor he guy. he looks like you. <laughs> oh, and your little girl. Yeah. So how old are they? Uh, he's almost four. He's gonna be four in a few weeks, and then. She's seven months. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. I love her little head wrap and one of the pictures <laughs> your, your wife's holding my, her. My wife pretty much dresses all of us, it, including you. So that's good. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't put a head wrap on me yet, but that day will probably come. Well, with baby so young, is she a little nervous about you going out, or is she going to be joining you on tour a lot, or she might be able to join? On a weekend, or two, <laughs> but um, it's hard to take babies on a bus. Yeah, know? the noise Not alone. <laughs> yeah, it, it but, gets. Uh, we see that we know that you know there's a there's a finish line for Winter Jam, so uh, it's just kind of you know waited out. <laughs> so where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in a small town um, in Canada called Salmon Arm. It's yeah, weird, it's a weird name, but yeah, that's where I grew up. And like the arm of a fish. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exactly. Was making yeah. sure. Okay. I don't know who named it. They, <laughs> they were having fun, that's for sure. But uh, in the middle of nowhere, just grew up and and um, and yeah, just wanted to do music, and it's taken me on this journey. Is your wife from Canada? She was born in Seattle, but she grew up in the same town as me. Wow. Okay. Well, so that's, that's incredible because I was going to say, even though my friend and I live just across the border, sometimes it feels like another world, even though there's not that much difference, you know, in Canada, it's just sometimes the, you know, like she picks up eggs and milk over here and then we've got to count it and make sure how much money she's spent on dairy. So when she goes back over the border, she's then yeah. have to throw away her eggs and <laughs> yeah, right. it's, it's pretty amazing. So what, what else do you have going on? I mean, you got like literally this tour and then you're, you're off for a week and then it's happy new year. We're back on the road again. Um, <laughs> are you, are you getting ready to launch a new single after the first of the year? Yeah, exactly. So I've been working on a bunch of new songs uh, for a project called wherever I go. And uh, I don't know what the single's going to be yet. I think we're deciding in the next week or so. Um, and but the project is uh, it's, it's inspired by Joshua one nine, which says, "Be bold and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. For the Lord your God goes with you wherever you go." 
and that's really kind of been the heartbeat behind it is, is realizing that, you know, we can step out in faith and we can, we can do things that maybe would scare us because, um, God's going with us. And so a lot of the songs are themed that way. And it's, um, it's really been the, the, uh, my life for the past few years and, and continues to be, you know, that's just stepping out in faith when I'm not even comfortable and, and God showing up. With with this tour, you get to be obviously around a lot of different styles of artists, and you get to meet a lot of new friends and everything. Have you have you um, thought of anyone that you would be like, man, I wish I could do a single or do a tour date with this particular artist? Do you have like somebody in mind that you just love to go out on a tour or like do a single with? That's a great question. Um, I feel like over the past few years I've almost been out with everybody yeah well <laughs> I mean from, and my, my bucket list has kind of been knocked off a little I did a tour with um, or I did a date with Chris Tomlin in Canada last year he's like he's list. like everyone's bucket list I think <laughs> exactly yeah um and I've done stuff with uh Casting Crowns one of the bands I grew up with that I've always wanted to do stuff with Jars of Clay and oh, yeah. a few dates with them. Um, I just don't, yeah, I, I feel like I've already been pretty blessed to, um, to, to go out with all the artists I've dreamt of. Um, so now it's just, it's just kind of, um, getting to know some of these artists is really fun and, and, um, getting to know their stories. And I went out with 10th Avenue North last year too. Uh, and Crowder, and those were two bands that I've always really looked up to. And um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty thankful that that God's opened those doors. And he, it seemed like it was like you came on the scene, and then bam, like it, right, it went really fast, right? <laughs> like, as soon as yeah. as soon as the ride started, it just it was nonstop since then. Right. Yeah. That's that's incredible. I, I'm glad I'm glad you're going to be on Winter Jam. We're, we'll be there probably both in January and February um, for Grand Rapids and Detroit. Definitely Detroit, but probably both dates. <laughs> so um, looking forward to seeing you and um, and saying hi and just excited to hear you live. I haven't gotten the opportunity to see you live yet. So um, looking forward to that and, and loving the music and good. Hey, Traveling Mercies on the Christmas tour slash, you know, uh, Winter Jam continuing and everything and have a have a blessed holiday season tell your wife she done good you have beautiful babies uh, she's you just Thank have the most beautiful much. adorable children so you you guys have a happy holiday together and be safe thank you so much